Hello everyone, we're here outside George Washington's distillery at Mount Vernon and we have some of our products here that we, we actually make on site. And the grist mill's right next door and this particular piece of property is a remnant of one of Washington's five outlying farms. It was called Doe Run Farm. Uh, the creek that ran through here supplied water for the grist mill, which Washington built in 1770. At that time he was getting out of tobacco and switching over to grains as cash crops, the key grain being wheat to make export flour. The story here is really deep as it transitions over 29 years to where Washington got into the whiskey business later in life. And we do also make the whiskeys here uh, by the early methods that were used in the 1790s. Um, the grist mill was very popular in the 18th century for obvious reasons, and it is still today because we do make product in our mill which is sold at our retail shops. So we make a variety of products here. We have white corn grits, which is one of our most popular. Um, we have the yellow grits. Very good, but I think the white sell a little better. Our pancake flour, which is a mixture of barley, wheat, and yellow corn, makes waffles excellently as well. And then you have your yellow meal and your white corn meal. So these staples of the plantation are really offered today as well through retail. And they are ground on millstones in the mill by water-powered machinery. So you're buying really a piece of history here. In the late 1790s, Washington moves over into the whiskey business. And at that time, uh, right after the presidency, um, he hired James Anderson, a Scottish farm manager who had immigrated to America in the 1790s. And Anderson convinced Washington to get involved in the whiskey business. So again, we're right by the distillery. And in fact, right now we're in the midst of an apple brandy production run. Um, so the stills are active inside as we speak. Um, this is the apple brandy that we do make and uh, barrel age today. This is from our last batch. That's available here at Mount Vernon as well. They also made peach brandy in the 18th century. So we do make a peach brandy as well, very good, and also in stock. In the 18th century, however, Washington's men made what the market wanted, which was whiskey, and they wanted it right away, and they did not barrel age whiskey. So this is our unaged rye. It's as close to the history of whiskey as you can get, and it's also the official state spirit of the, of the state of Virginia. So it's a very high quality distillation, so it's a good, good whiskey. Not moonshine, it's rye, it's just uh, unaged. And then we have our two-year-old rye, which is barrel aged for a little over two years or over. And then our premium is uh, four years, four and a half years old, which is our, our best whiskey on the market today. Um, also out right now, which was a special run, is the George Washington Rum. We did this in 2018, aged it for 28 months. Very limited release. There are only 300 bottles of this that exist, available at the retail shops at Mount Vernon. And this was all combined with the release of Washington's Barbados Diaries, which was uh, a, a, his diary he wrote when he was 19, when he traveled to Barbados with his older brother, Lawrence. So that was Washington's only trip outside the United States, or at that time, colonial America. And I'd like to add for folks living in Virginia and Washington, DC, all the distilled spirits we make at Mount Vernon can be shipped to your home now. So you can shop online and then that will be shipped out. We also have a small gift set, which we don't have on the barrel today, but if you're looking for a lower priced item as a gift, it's the unaged whiskey in a 50 ml bottle, a beautiful shot glass that comes with it, and a lovely case with an image of the distillery on that case. So that's a wonderful gift at Christmas time. So keep that in mind if you want to you know, buy online and ship within Virginia or Washington, DC. We also sell other items that are wonderful if you enjoy spirits, the whiskey glasses, cocktail glasses, and whiskey stones if you like to put uh, cool down your whiskey a little bit without adding ice. These are available at Mount Vernon's gift shop. So again, a complete array of what's really made here with 18th century methods at Mount Vernon in the reconstructed buildings that are very period accurate. So by enjoying these quality products either side, you're also walking back in time to what was done here in the 18th century. So we hope you'll uh, enjoy the holiday season as best you can. We hope you'll either shop online or come out to Mount Vernon and purchase at the gift shops, which are open. The main estate shop is open. And there's a lot of other items there to think about the loved ones you have at Christmas or other holidays. So, so please come see us and uh, please enjoy and imbibe over the holidays or enjoy some grits and cornmeal at home as well with your, with your holiday dinners. So uh, we look forward to seeing you out here again in the future as times get better.